Hey, what's going on everyone? It's James Dalkarian, Doctor of Physical Therapy and the owner of Pioneer PT, the first mobile physical therapy clinic. And today let's go ahead and discuss ankle sprains. So we'll discuss um, what they are, the different grades of ankle sprains, the different types of ankle sprains, and then how to deal with it. That's the most important part anyway, uh, so we'll spend the most time with that. So real quick, what's an ankle sprain? Um, so an ankle sprain occurs if you stretch the foot in a position that is a little bit too far for the normal range of motion. So um, the most common is when you slam on your foot and your foot rotates in, your ankle turns out. This would look something like this. That's the most common between 70 to 85% are these lateral ankle sprains or they call them inversion ankle sprains. The inside of the ankle is a little bit more rare, so we're not going to spend much time with that. Um, in these sprains, what happens is you stretch your ligaments too far, causing damage, and you may also have some tissue damage to the muscle. So grades. Grade one is just a stretch of the ligaments. You overstretch them a little bit more than their normal maximum, um, causing some irritation. Grade two, that means you overstretch them. And this time you had some failing. So some of those fibers in the ligament tore. And we're talking about some. Um, this takes a little bit longer to heal. And then lastly is a grade three sprain. And in this case, the ligament has gone beyond its point um, of support and it's failed, causing it to tear completely. So grade three definitely takes the longest for recovery time. Um, with grades of ankle sprains, it can vary. I mean, you could be down for one to two weeks in a minor grade one sprain, but up to about 12 weeks or so with a grade three sprain. Unfortunately, with ligaments, they do not have as good of a blood supply as other tissues in our body. Even bone um, heals faster than ligament damage at times. So be patient, hang in there, it will get better. So we covered grades an approximate length of time for recovery to return to sport. Again, two to about 12 weeks, depending on the severity. And then types, types. Uh, we talked about that inversion ankle sprain being the most common. When you turn the foot, um, the foot turns in, ankle goes out. This often occurs whether you're running or walking on uneven ground and you twist your ankle. Uh, it happens to folks wearing high heels sometimes. They'll step on an uneven sidewalk and twist it. And, and then most commonly in sports, whether you're running, cutting, or basketball. This happened to me quite a bit in high school. I sprained it once, and then I sprained it again. Um, but I went up for a rebound, came down, landed right on someone else's foot, and my ankle twisted. Um, and the most common cause of another injury is a previous injury. So that's very common knowledge in the research. So make sure you get it taken care of so it's not a re reoccurring issue. Um, with those ankle sprains, most of them are low ankle sprains. High ankle sprains also occur, but they're more rare. And we'll primarily discuss low ankle sprains. So uh, what do you want to do when you have an ankle sprain? With an ankle sprain, the easiest acronym to remember is called PRICE. PRICE, what does it stand for? First, you want to protect it. Um, you want to protect it by, if you need to, you want to unweight the foot by using crutches. Your doctor may prescribe you crutches, so you're not weight bearing, you're resting that foot. Um, you can also use a brace to help protect it so that way we don't twist it again. Something to protect that ankle. So that's P. R stands for rest. With the ankle sprain, you want to rest it, um, meaning get off of it. You don't want to put your foot in positions that cause it to irritate it and be angry. An angry sprained ankle is when it is warm, swollen, red, painful. Um, when it's angry, we, again, do not want to do things that aggravate and make it worse. Therefore, R stands for rest. Next, um, one of the most common things you want to do for treatment is ice and ice initially for at least the first three days after an ankle sprain. This helps to bring the inflammation down by constricting your blood vessels um, so it does not get more and more swollen and more painful causing further tissue damage. 
So when you ice, um, use an ice pack one there at least 20 minutes per hour. Um, I would suggest at the very minimum three to five times a day um, for ice initially for those first three days. I also really like for the ankle doing an ice bath. So you can fill a bucket full of ice water, put your ankle in there for 30 seconds to a minute, take it out for 30 seconds to a minute, then dunk it back in and repeat that process for, you know, it's tough to deal with, but I would say up to five minutes if possible. So get your ice on there to control your inflammation. Uh, next, we're talking about C. C stands for compression. Please wear an athletic sock because uh, it tends to have a little bit more compression down in the foot or a whole and wrap your ankle. So you want to wrap the foot with an ace bandage. It does not have to be super tight. You do not want your toes turning purple or red. That means it's too tight. Um, so back off if that's the case. But in general, wrap it from about the toes to above the ankle and grade it, meaning you have a little bit more compression down by the foot, less compression above the ankle. So tighter as you go up, loosen up the tension. This helps to pull that fluid back up. Um, we want to try to get the fluid back up towards our hip. And that leaves the last one, E. E stands for elevation. Ideally, you want to elevate your foot above your heart if possible. Do this by using two pillows, one underneath the thigh, the second one underneath the lower leg. Lying back on your back, this will help elevate it up. That way we have the assistance of gravity to pull that fluid back towards the hip, towards the abdomen, so our lymph nodes can recycle that fluid and get rid of it. So price, price the easiest acronym to remember, protection, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. So that's the best method for treating the ankle early on.